Welcome to TransWest Truck Trailer RV. I'm AC and today I'm going to walk you through this 2017 Jayco Elante. This is the uh, 31 V floor plan. So basically it's just under 32 feet in length and just under 12 foot 6 inches tall. Uh, we're going to start over here on the front side. This is stock number 5U210352. And this unit is still available if you have any questions uh, regarding pricing, mileage, any of those things, feel free to give me a call. I will give you my contact info at the end of the day. Or end of the video, not end of the day. <laughs> As you can see here, we'll start at the front. We've got a huge windshield on this uh, Jayco. It's got a 120 inch windshield. Nice thing about the windshield, it comes around to here, there's a, it limits the blind spots on the corners. So when you're parked and there's, or you're pulled up to a stop sign, there's a vehicle or somebody in this blind spot, typically you would be able to see them a lot better than some of the other coaches. This does have a one piece fiberglass roof, which is also really nice. Uh, this is on a Ford chassis. It's got the Triton V10 engine. It's 320 horsepower, 460 foot pounds of torque. We've got the 19 and a half inch wheels. And plenty of storage in this uh, unit here for a small 32 foot coach. Thick insulated uh, doors here. Got your slam latches. So we walk around here, you can see it's got a huge window on this entry door. You can see out from the inside and the outside here, it's, a, it's huge. So while you're driving, somebody's knocking at your door, you can kind of see who's out there. This chassis does have J-Ride. Uh, basically, that means you've got uh, front and rear stabilizer bars. You've got Bilstein shocks. Um, they, they do everything they can on this Jayco to give you a smooth ride, OK? All right, back to the compartments here. So we're going to have two huge compartments with pass-through storage. Again, that comes in handy if you have fishing poles, skis, large items you want to put in there. Here's the second compartment. As you can see, we have light inside in case you have to get in there and dig out some of your stuff at night. All right, here's your two house batteries. We've got two house batteries. We have a 16 and a half gallon propane tank. This is on a slide tray, makes it really easy to take your batteries out, replace them when needed. Remember when you're replacing your batteries, if one battery goes bad, you want to replace both of them. You don't ever want to just do one battery at a time. Now here's a surprise in here, this compartment. Uh, this is actually a cover for the RV. Uh, the previous owner was nice enough to leave this in here, so this is a cover. Takes up a whole compartment, but it's a nice thing to have. All right, we've got an outdoor entertainment center. You got two speakers out here. You've got a CD player and radio. Obviously, you've got your nice size TV here. Under this huge awning, I want to point out the awning. We've got LED lights on the front. Plenty of room to set up a lot of lawn chairs. This coach will hold quite a few people. I'll show you that on the inside. There's one sm smaller compartment. As we come around to the back here, you can see it's got a backup camera. Also has a receiver hitch down here. This will tow up to 5,000 pounds. And that's plenty for a small tow vehicle. All right, here's our 30 amp short power cord. Does have an opening here. Typically I'd run it through the opening. I didn't do that today, but 
Here's your wet bay. This has 77 and a half gallons of fresh water capacity. You can see all your low point drains are right here, really easy to get to. Water filtration system, you've got your outdoor shower. Paper towel holder in case you're messy like I am. This is a Ford V10, so it is unleaded fuel, not diesel. Here are your holding tank valves. So you've got your black and your gray. So it has a 40 gallon gray tank and a 50 gallon black. All right, now we're on the other side of the two pass through storage bays. Now we have your Onan, it's a quiet gas 4000. So this will run off of the gas in your coach since it is a gas motor home. Plenty of power to run your ACs. You've got two AC units on here. All right, and that's the outside. As you can see, we've got two slides, both on the driver's side. When we get in, you'll see how much room that gives you on the inside. And then also the benefit of not having opposing slides is that it gives you a ton of room when the slides are in and you're going down the road. All right, as we come in here, we'll start right here with the power connect. Here's your main power disconnect. You got your power for the front step, your awning light, and then your awning in and out exterior lights and interior lights. And we're gonna start up here in the front. You've got plenty of storage up here. These are all actual wood. It's not wood laminate, these are solid wood. That's your owner's manuals. Plenty of room up there to put uh, your map. If you need a map, you can put one up there. If you don't have GPS, you might want to get a phone that has GPS moving to the 20th century. Uh, up front, we got two captain's chairs. We've got electronic leveling system here, so it does have auto leveling. You've got your heated mirrors and then your battery merge or battery boost, uh, that's to merge your house batteries and your uh, chassis batteries if you kill the batteries leaving your lights on. Center console right here. We've got our stereo, your generator on and off. This is set up so that you can leave your backup camera on while you're driving down the road. This would have to be on. Oh, there we go. So you can actually leave this on while we're driving down the road so you can keep an eye on your tow vehicle or just see if somebody's getting too close to you. Makes it really handy. Some of those you're not, you know, they don't let you keep it on the whole time. The, ca uh, the captain's chairs do swivel around, gives you a nice little living area. We've got a jackknife sofa here, gives you a small bed. We've got a booth dinette that also turns into a bed. So you got plenty of sleeping area. You got plenty of seat belts in this thing. So all the seating areas have seat belts on this. So you can actually, you have two seat belts here, two seat belts there, and then you have the two captain's chairs. So you can actually buckle up quite a few people in this while you're going down the road. That's getting harder and harder to find. Typically, they only give you enough seat belts so that uh, you can buckle up as many people as the coach will uh, sleep. Okay, now we've got a dual sink. Nice faucet. You got your TV in here, perfect to sit across uh, to watch when you're sitting at the booth dinette or on the couch. 
overhead storage here. Other nice feature here is you've got a huge microwave. And you also have a gas stove and an oven. Ovens are getting harder and harder to find as most coaches are going to all electric. Plenty of storage. Ton of room here for your cleaning supplies. You can put your silverware in here. All your miscellaneous items in here under the sink. Again, cleaning supplies. You get pretty creative when you're on the road in a small coach. You'll start figuring out what you need to carry with you and where you're going to store it. As you can see up here, we have speakers up on the ceiling. Gives you a nice surround sound. We've got an eight cubic foot dual uh, propane or electric Norcold. Gives you plenty of room. Again, if you're going to be gone for a weekend, a week. Um, got a nice size pantry. Here's your main control panel. Here you can operate your generator, your inverter, your two slides. It does have tank heaters, so when the weather gets cold, uh, you have a water pump switch here, and then your uh, water heater, whether you want it propane or electric. You can check all your tank levels here. As you can see right now, we're hooked up to 30 amp service. You have your hall light, and then this is for your 31,000 BTU ducted furnace. Up. Go ahead and come around here. We'll show you the bathroom. You've got some nice storage under here. You've got two open shelves. you got some cabinet underneath there. You've got his and hers medicine cabinets. And plenty of countertop here to put your electric razor, your hair dryer. If you're like me, you don't need a hair dryer, but we've got a nice size shower. It's got kind of a deep pan here. Plenty of elbow room, head space, 511. That's the truth. I'm not going to say I'm 6'5 today. I'll, I'll stick to 511. OK, we've got a queen size bed with a lot of wardrobe space in this one. I'll open these up. So you basically have six drawers on the bottom. And you got two sides here, so you've got his and hers. We got some more storage, obviously, right over the bed. And I got to tell you, this is probably 18 inches deep. You got plenty of room back there to carry a lot of stuff on your short or long trip. You got a little counter space on both sides, little nightstands. And then you've got <laughs> a ton more drawers here. You got one, two, three, four, five, six on this side. You've got four down here, so you got plenty of space. So if you're like me and you get one or two drawers, you might get three in this coach. She's got plenty of room for all her shoes. And let's see here. We'll walk out. I'd like to close the slides in just so you can see how much room you have when you're going down the road with the slides in. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. So the bed on the bed slide here doesn't lift up on some models. It actually folds up. This one just comes and butts up against the drawers. Okay, now we're going to go ahead and do the living room. Okay. 
basement. I'll go ahead and walk out so you can see how much room. We got plenty of hall space here. You're going down the road, you can access your fridge, you can access the bathroom, your kitchen, uh, plenty of space. Um, thank you for watching today. Uh, if you have any questions on this unit, feel free to give me a call, shoot me a text or an email. Si hablo español, me pueden hablar al 720-276-4241. Uh, thank you guys. I know I normally do videos on Thursday. I had to switch this week, but I'll see you next Thursday. Thank you guys.